In the plastic envelope you will find a request card and a plastic bag containing the dried blood spot card, a desiccant pack, two blue lancets, two alcohol wipes and two plasters. Firstly, fill out the request form providing as many of the patient's identifiers as you have available and enter the patient's name and date of birth on the blood collection card. This is important to ensure we can test the patient sample and report the results back to you. Before starting the procedure, you should perform your normal hand hygiene and put on some clean gloves. Ask the patient to wash their hands thoroughly with soap and water and dry them completely using a clean towel. If the patient's hands are cold, ask them to rub their hands together to warm them up. This will help with blood flow. Next, take the alcohol sachet. Clean one of the middle ring or little fingers. Please avoid the finger pad and nail bed. Holding the lancet between your index finger and thumb, place the tip of the lancet on the finger you have cleaned with the alcohol wipe. Gently apply pressure until the lancet is activated. A clicking sound will be heard when this has happened. The finger should now bleed. Ask the patient to hold the bleeding finger over each circle on the card and if necessary, press the finger to encourage bleeding. Spot blood onto each of the five circles on the card as shown making sure enough blood gets onto the card to fill each circle. Don't fold the card closed just yet. Leave it for 30 minutes to dry. Please try to fill each spot with blood as this ensures the highest test accuracy in the laboratory. If getting enough blood is difficult, use the second lancet and repeat the procedure. Once you have taken the samples, apply the plaster to the bleeding finger. Please try and ensure no blood gets onto the outside of the card or the form. After the card has been drying for 30 minutes, close it and put it and the silica gel packet into the clear plastic bag attached to the request form. Please ensure the silica gel pack is included as this helps preserve the sample during transport. Once you have checked the correct details are on the request form and the card, remove the brown tape and seal the card into the plastic bag. Finally, put the completed request form and bag containing your sample into the grey free post envelope. Seal it and post it. Our turnaround time is one week from when we receive the sample.